Hey yo everyone, we are trying to beat Spelunky with a hundred lives. Now I know that might not sound hard for some of you platforming Spelunky pros out there. And I also know this is the first game, which I think the first game is way easier than the second. But in the world of Spelunky, it's so easy to rack up like a bunch of deaths instantly. Get hit by an air trap, get hit by a spike trap, hit yourself with your own bomb, fall from a very tall height. There's a lot of ways to die and I think we can easily rack up 100 lives if I'm not too careful. I also want to beat the full game, meaning not Olmec, which is you know the fake ending, but I want to beat King Yama aka the hell underworld ending, whatever you want to call it. And that takes a little bit of effort. I've beaten hell probably three, four times. I have beaten it in co-op, which is probably my greatest achievement in Spelunky ever. But let's get to it. All right, so you might have seen the beautiful thumbnail created by Mythical Water. Shout out Mythical Water. I'll probably talk more about that towards the end of the video. Check out their Twitter and whatever other social media they have because they just make beautiful pieces of art. And I hope to work more with them in the future. But yes, the lucky one. I definitely can serve myself way better at this game than the second, given that I definitely have not put it in as much hours in the second game. I, I legit like barely have played the second game. Not because I dislike it. It's just like timing. I feel like the way the game came out was really really weird you know how it was like playstation exclusive and then there was no multiplayer at launch multiplayer was the big thing i was hyped for because i wanted to play multiplayer out of the gate with the boys and if it didn't have that feature i was like uh i kind of don't feel like playing it right now so that's why i feel like me and splunky 2 got a rough relationship and i hope to atone that relationship I hope it gets better. But yeah, here with Spelunky 1, we gotta get our hands on some gold if we want a nice run. The gold, not only do we need it to get the, uh, what is it, the onk in the black market, but we need it to just buy stuff, period. Bombs are probably one of the most useful things in Spelunky. I wanna buy this. This is probably the cheapest. I'm gonna buy it. That's the cheapest it's gonna be is right now because, you know, we're super early in the game. So the earlier you are the cheaper things are but let's get it maybe i don't even need a hundred lives what if i beat this in one life now that'd be crazy it's possible it's more than possible okay here's our first dangerous thing i'm trying to do here i'm trying to get that gold up there is this worth it what if i get shot oh <laughs> you see what i mean you see how a run can end so quick I tried my best to react to that but it's just unfortunate okay here we go we got the golden chest here i know many of you probably okay this is not good anyway <laughs> I know many of you probably don't even know Splunky, haven't played it, or you've seen like one or two of my videos of it. So if some of the things I'm saying, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it's okay. It's all good. They're just fancy words for items, all right? But there is a very specific set of items we need to get our hands on to get the true ending in this game. And the Ujadai, that item right there is one of them. You don't need some of them. Some of them le legit you don't need, but like it's way harder without them. Boom. Okay, that thing's dead. Now let's get this spider right here all right uh probably one of the worst throws i've ever done oh, okay this has gone bad <laughs> this has gone very bad is there nope that doesn't lead to the exit can i kill this spider still oh come on jump Ooh. now that's that's some pro spelunky play yeah that's me gamer is one, one of the greatest spelunky players alive once i start taking a bunch of l's it'll, it'll seem like this first clip is long or this first life is long but then like next thing you know there'll be a jump cut shows like seven deaths and then we'll be on like life number 10 what is this they're setting me up for failure at the beginning here okay let's be careful how we do this we gotta go we had to go like this okay forgot that i had sticky bombs okay i, I mean it worked this is not how I wanted it to work, but it, it worked. I gotta kill this spider. I might as well. Makes me money. I don't even know if... Oh, I made that jump somehow. Oh, that was that was stupid damage. All right, we made it to the jungle. Let's go. All right, so what we're looking for here in the jungle is for our Ujadai to uh, start beeping. And that will be where the black market is. The black market that helps us get our hands on the Ankh. And then the Ankh will need for the frost caves. And it just it just keeps on going with items. I'm going to need 50k soon though. Because that Ankh costs 50k. And if I don't have 50k. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> get up. Whew. If I don't have 50k, that means I have to steal the Ankh. And stealing the Ankh is not good that's one of the things you don't want to do unless it's your last and only plan of attack like you don't got the money and there's no other way you have to get the onk i guess you gotta steal it but get ready because the rest of the game is gonna be harder this is a fun set of tiki traps how do i even get up here what <laughs> i think i have to use a bomb because i don't think i can make that jump 
I can, but look how dangerous. All right, I guess I'm using a bomb. We're getting some blinking. Is it right here? I think it's right here. There it is. Yes, sir. All right, with this found, oh, I could get some easy money right here, too. They put one of these right here. I could get some easy money right there. Now we for sure got the 50K that we need. Oh, and then I just, oh my God, what's wrong with me? It's all good. We're in the black market. As long as nothing bad happens here, uh, something easily bad can happen. Like an enemy hurts one of the shopkeepers and then just all hell breaks loose. That happens here sometimes. Come over here and this is what we're buying, baby, the Ankh. So that will revive us. And the reason why we need that to revive us is for there's a certain stage where we get revived, puts us in this little secret door and we just keep going from there. I have 9K, damn, a jetpack. Jetpack is like a damn near guaranteed win, but I don't have the money for it. You know what I can do? I can gamble and hope that I get these spike shoes. Cause spike shoes are very, very nice for the ice caves. Big money? Big money. At least I got the big money. Hold up. Hold up. Yes, sir. I'll be taking that and I'm heading out. Oh, okay. We're not in a good situation. And just like that. <laughs> the run kind of just ended right there. Like, I have no reason to really push forward because I can't I can't beat the secret ending anymore. All right, that's life number one. Early game jetpack. I, I think I need to cause some havoc here. This is too much of an opportunity to pass up to have this combo this early on in the game. I can beat the game in this life right here. This is the game winning combo. I'm talking about this is some LeBron X, Kevin Durant, unstoppable duo. Uh, we don't actually need to pick up money, which is uh, honestly a nice thing. But as you can see at the end of every level, there's now gonna be a shopkeeper that we gotta deal with. And shopkeepers, they, they aren't a joke. As we saw in the first life, they are not a joke. Oh my God. I didn't think he was going to make it out of there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> of course. All right. As you can see, we're back where we were on the first life. Looking tremendous though. I won't do anything stupid this time. I, I promise. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Six hearts, shotgun, jetpack. Like, come on. Oh God. Of course. Of course, this is the next level they give me. Okay. I take my promise back. I don't even know what direction to go. All right, the ice caves, baby. This is where I wanted to be. All right, so here we're looking for a, a giant like statue. It's like the, the Moa head, the Moa head, something like that. We're looking for that big statue and then we gotta kill ourselves on that level that has it. Kind of weird, but that's that's just the rules, all right? There it is. There is the Moai head. And uh, we can kill ourselves now. The only sad thing is we can't bring a shotgun with us. Honestly, very sad. So, I think I'm going to leave it there because I want to go save. Okay. Well, at least we died <laughs> where we're supposed to. Jesus, as you can see, Splunky really could just get crazy all of a sudden. But yeah, we don't have a shotgun now. We got to play it a little careful. We just got great mobility. And just like that, we are in the temple. Oh my God, not a good start. Lost that heart already. So here, we're looking for uh, Anubis. There's going to be a level that has Anubis. We got to literally fight Anubis, which he's like the Egyptian god of death, isn't he? <laughs> so that should be a, like a good sign of what's to come. Oh God, there he is. Okay, I need to get rid of that eyeball. Yeah, you see that eyeball? The, the statue that just tried to hit me or the block that just tried to hit me, that's got to go. With that gone though, now I could actually fight Anubis. And just like that, we got his staff. Wow, this is looking good. You gotta be careful when you use this staff against enemies because uh, this thing's a little strong. Oh, look at that guy. That guy was on my ass. All right, now we gotta find a door, a golden door, because we're going to the land of gold, the hall of gold, something like that. I don't remember the name specifically. Oh, there's the door. Yes, sir. And I'm out of here. Here we are, city of gold. New character alert? Hold up. Oh, I want a new character. What's up? Don't get me killed, though. Where do I go? There's like no actual area to go. I have to bomb out of where I'm at. So now we're, we got to fight Anubis 2 and get the uh, Necronomicon. What in the hell? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. He got in the way of my throw. Okay, that should kill both those mummies. 
My bad. I didn't mean to kill him there. <laughs> yeah, we got to get in here and we got to kill Anubis too, which is like Anubis, but scarier. Boom. Stole the Necronomicon. Bam. That should be a death, right? It's two bombs. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. This is going better than I ever could have thought. And now... I just get the hell out of there because now we're getting to the real shit we gotta fight olmec but we gotta fight him in a certain way because we gotta look at the necronomicon which is the book we just got and we gotta see where it starts chewing you see how it's chewing that's where the door to hell is okay looking good oh no no oh oh my god the enemies bro <laughs> the enemies are turning this into just like hell crush him you can't crush him I got him. There we go. Please let me in. Whew. Jesus. All right, we made it to hell with one heart. This, this is terrible. This has got to be like worst case scenario. Of course, there's a bat right there. Is that real? Are you real? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> All right. At least we got to see hell at life three. Not bad. Going into the black market with all the uh, shopkeepers hating me. Let's see how this is. Oh, yeah. Now, that's how you really get in there. That's how you get in there. Let me just clear this hallway just in case. Okay, it's looking good. I didn't see anyone in there. I think everyone's in this bottom right. Which is just tremendous. Oh, they're hitting each other. Did they kill each other? All of them kill each other? <laughs> There's like four shopkeepers in there. Oh, oh my God, dude. <laughs> it's just, it, it just, it goes wrong every time at the worst possible moment. When I finally get everything I need, uh, it just goes wrong. Look at this situation I'm in. I'm trying to hit this guy with the pellet because the pellets can spread down and hit people. And it's just like, it's either I, get hit by his boomerang he's not looking this direction now so i can kill him but like oh my god i lost the onk there's not even a reason to play <laughs> oh my splunky okay and i'm dead just like <laughs> you know what i have faith okay in a little bit of predicament here i don't have a lot of resources and i kind of don't want to waste them so i think i'm gonna go for a uh very tough technique here where you whip the arrow trap I did it, but I kind of hit myself in the end, but I technically did it at the same time. We're alive. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'd rather take the two hit than the four hit. It re regularly does because like our health honestly doesn't matter. And as, as we get the onk, you know, we die with the onk. Boom. We'll be back at full health. If I win this jetpack, this run may be winnable. That mobility will help. Oh, come on. Oh my God. Oh my god, I just gotta survive now. And you know, once I say I gotta just survive, you know things are about to get bad. I'm about to die somehow. That's how I died? The skeleton is alive? I'm cursed. It's gotta be something. It's every time I get to this point, I just I just mess it all up. Should I do it? <laughs> For the video? For the entertainment? Oh! <gasps> I didn't know the bullets bounce back. What makes the bullets bounce back? I <laughs> I never knew that happens. Does the... Uh, bro, I'm not doing this on purpose either. Live number eight. If there's no game audio, it's because I was watching a video while playing this. This live and the last live are literally like a month apart. Probably <laughs> stop playing the game for a minute. So more potential that it probably will take me actually 100 lives. All right, well, this is a L. I have no way to get to the key. I used all my arrows or all my ropes. God damn it. I got to kill myself. This, is, this was a sad run. All right, this is another sad way to lose a run i don't have bombs to blow up the the entrance this is getting stupid come on that that's a sad death <gasps> no <gasps> <gasps> bro i'm so fucking stupid i don't know why i did that oh my god <gasps> no <laughs> Oh my god, this run just got so bad. So hopefully I got enough bombs to kill. I don't, I don't even know if I have enough bombs. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to grab him, bro. Do I even need to kill him? I don't think I need to kill him. Oh. If you don't kill him, he comes in here. I didn't know that. I never knew that. <laughs> ah, oh my god. What a dumb way to lose when I get to Olmec, bro. You tell me like eight crates don't have a single bomb. That's BS. Turn number 14. I'm sad after the last one. I'm mad after the last one. Not even sad. I've never been screwed over like that. I didn't even know that not killing Anubis 2 meant that he follows you into the Olmec fight. And then I'm like, okay, I can, I can solve it. You know, there's probably some bombs in one of the 10 crates above us. No, not a single bomb. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a sad run. Turn number 15, baby. Run number 16. Run 15 ended tragically. Ran out of ropes. Seems to happen a lot to me. What the fuck? How did I take damage, bro? Oh. <gasps> what in the fuck was that? Oh my god, they would put Anubis right underneath me, bruh. This evil ass game would put Anubis right at the spawn. Boom, boom. All right, there you go. Anubis 2 dead. Don't got to worry about him when fighting Olmec. Unlike that one time where he was beating my ass. That is perfect. Thank you. Hurry up and get in before like a lava ball hits me. We're back. It's been a minute since we've been here. Oh God, I'm already terrified. Shivered down my spine. I don't care about any uh, maidens. That's not what they're called. I don't care about any damsels. I'm here just to beat the run. That's it. I don't like this. Okay, so we do need more bombs. Uh, we need more bombs to fight Yama. And right when we start the fight with Yama, there's going to be a chance for us to get a bunch of bombs. Uh, the, the two like minions he spawns at the beginning. All right. Yama? Yes, sir. So all we got to do is kill Yama. Hit his hands, hit his face. Done. So let's get to it. We're going to start by killing that thing. We're going to start by killing this guy. Boom. There's our bombs. I know he slams his hands. He drops the skulls. Songs are oh my god, did you see that? The game just tried to assassinate me. Did you guys just see that? I don't know how in the hell I did not land on some spikes right there. That was insane. Now let's just sit here, let's fire away, and let's hope and pray that it says that we won. Plays a noise. Oh my god, I think we did it, boys. Oh my god, there's so many bats up there. <laughs> nah, hell no, I'm out of here. I don't got time for all these bats. Oh shit. As I run into them. You know, I'll take them out. Let's hope. Oh my God. They're trying to assassinate me again. Whew. We officially did it. What is this life 15? Oh my God. I honestly thought I was going to be way faster. We saw the early hell runs where I got to hell, but we have done it. Uh, I all tabbed out of the game to turn the audio on and it crashed, but we literally be Yama. That's fine. I don't care if it crashed. I beat him before a bunch of times. We are done with our 100 lives to beat Spelunky 1. We'll probably do Spelunky 2 after this. Man, I I'm happy if we kept it under 20 lives. I'm very surprised we kept it under 20 lives, especially with the way I was playing as of recently. But shout out the Jetpack for carrying. Shout out Mythical Water for the thumbnail. Tell me what games you guys want to see in the future. Obviously, Spelunky 2 is probably going to be the next one we do. Uh, I have Rogue Legacy on there as one that we might do. But yeah, give me some other games that are Sort of like this gungeon could be one and a bunch of other games similar a bunch of roguelike similar yeah i'll see y'all next time hope you guys enjoyed the start of a brand new series